One more clickbait question. Okay. There was a a thing when Jack Harlow was uh, shooting the video with Drake and they were at the Kentucky Derby or some shit. And there was like a, a photo of a bunch of black security guards, I believe it was, carrying him yeah. over the mud. Yeah. And now like this is pretty understandable to me that like he's shooting a music video. He can't get his shoes dirty. A lot of people like felt the need to take issue with the optics of it. I mean, bro, like what did they want what did they want him to do like get his shoes dirty like <laughs> if if i if i was i wasn't there at that moment i don't know where i was but shit i would have suggested as well like hey like make sure my man doesn't get his fucking shoes dirty like right now he's the golden child of kentucky like and we're at the kentucky derby we're shooting a video my man needs to make sure he's clean so right. obviously the optics of the picture was because it was a white man and it was black men around him carrying him that they took such issue with. Um, but again, that comes along with the territory. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just the space that, you know, any white person within the culture is going to have to deal with um, when things like that come upon. So, and I think more importantly, it's like how, you handle that you know what i'm saying and so like if jack would have jumped out the window and you know said something ignorant back or something i'd be like oh no yeah, you know he what never I'm saying? responded it's yeah because it's, it's nothing to respond to mm. like you know what like come on guys like oh you know, you're, just, you're just reaching at this point like you're just reaching like if it would have been uh uh a black artist or african-american artist of someone of color in the same position would they have had the problem you know, so I would I would think not, but at the same time, like I I I get it. You know, I do I I do get it. So I don't want to say that I don't understand where um, some of those feelings and emotions come from, especially when we're talking about something like the Kentucky Derby that you know honestly may have some history of racism involved in it. Like you know, I'm not. I'm not a historian when it comes to that, but you know, I, I, everyone has an opinion and in this day and time, we can see everyone's opinion. Listen, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Take it how you want. But it's like, my man didn't need to get his shoes dirty. Have you had the Jack Harlow KFC meal? Uh, yes, I did. I really? did. Yeah. What's special about it? I'm not even sure. Oh man, it's amazing. <laughs> It's fucking amazing. It's like, nah. Just... A lot of those McDonald's <laughs> meals, I, I'm not even sure what the difference is. Like, the, wasn't the, isn't there like a Cardi and Offset one? Yeah, right but I, I didn't even, I, I never figured out what the difference they was. They like add like one, Yeah, like it's like extra, it's like the Travis Scott meal and it'll be like an extra pickle and mustard. Yeah, or yeah Something yeah. like that. It's like a little like barbecue sauce yeah. for the fries. It's like you can get the, bar you already have barbecue sauce. <laughs> Some shit like that. It's yeah. hilarious. You gotta respect it though. DJ Drama, you, you, could you imagine a fast food collab in your future? Oh, that would be fire. Yeah. Um, damn, who could I do it with? Bojangles. Bo hey, you know, I'm going to call, call <laughs> Coach and P. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You got an in. <laughs> All right, so you see it. We just hit 500K. And you know what that means? That means you got to subscribe and get us to 600K because we are dangerously close to 666K. Let's go.